Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to explain you how to construct the square based lamina into an isometric projections. And now, uh, so we will assume that the 40mm square is resting on HP on one of its sides. Now this is how the lamina is going to look like. Now, uh, accordingly we will draw the top and front views. So the top view is going to look like and the front view is going to look like according to the side resting lamina. And also one can observe that when we write down the edges A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A, all the four edges are parallel to the isometric axis. And also there is no vertical edges in the front view, one can observe that. And all the four are horizontal line and parallel to isometric axis. In addition to this, there is no any inclined lines in this figure. Now let me show you how to solve this problem. Now we have familiarity with starting with the lower left corner that is B is taking as a reference. We will start with B, C, C, D, D, A and A, D. Now let me show you how to do the same. Now using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. So let me locate a point anywhere on the sheet and then the first length of the line B, C is 40 millimeter and the first angle in the isometric projections is 30 degree. So now I am going to enter the value and then the length of CD is also 40 millimeters since it is a square and the second isometric angle is supposed to be 150 degree and then again the length of DA is again 40 mm and the third angle is minus 150 degree and then I will get a connect back to the initial position that is nothing but the length as 40 millimeter and angle as minus 30 one can see in the ribbon bar. Now I can say that the isometric projection of this uh, sorry the isometric view of the square lamina has been completed. Now using the text command uh, so let me name this corner as A, B, C and D and now one can say that the solution is completed and this is called as isometric view or a drawing. Then I am going to select this view and then using the scale factor according to the guidelines 7 it should be reduced to 0 0.8164 so that this is going to be the isometric projection now it is going to be reduced to root 2 is to root 3 that is 0 0.8164 times now this is called as the isometric projections of the lamina so now according to the point number 8 no need to indicate the dimension unless it, uh, it is mentioned so now i'm just showing you for the reference purpose so while solving the problems you will come to know the details in clear and then uh, after constructing these square laminas I am going to show you how to construct these laminas into a solid snow now for which I have already created those steps now in, whereas in case of a square we need not to locate the center point and whereas in case of the prisms pyramids and a frustum of pyramids one has to locate the center point because from the center only the axis will be there because the axis is the imaginary line which is passing through the center of the solid. Now the height of these solids will be calculated with its axis height. Hence one, one has to construct the axis. Now in prism the axis height is taken as 50 millimeter. In case of pyramid also the axis is taken as 50 millimeter. And in case of frustum of pyramid is also axis is taken as 50 millimeter. And the top base is taken as I hope it is uh, 20 millimeter. Yes, the top base size is. 20 millimeter. Now let me show you how to convert these available squares into a required prism, pyramid and first term of pyramid. So for which let me construct an axis first you know, with the chain line in the form of 0 0.13 thickness. So from O1 let me draw a axis length of 50 millimeter from all the three squares. So 50 angle is 90 and again from O1 50 angle is 90. Now one can see that we have created the axis. Now using a text command this is going to be O and this is also going to be O and this is also going to be O. I have created these lines and then after which we know that the bottom base is also to be relocated at the top base. Now one can see that the bottom base B, A1, B1, C1, D1 is there at the top also we have the same base then only we call this as a prism. Henceforth we are supposed to select the bottom base and then make use of a move command move in such a way that 
from the position of O1, it is going to be relocated at a height of O. Now, one can name these corners as A, B, C and then this is going to be D. Now, after making the uh, namings, then using a 0.5 mm thickness, so one can connect the longer edge A to A1 as a visible longer edge. So, let me change the line properties to visible longer edge and then we will represent the visible longer edge BB1 and then the visible longer edge CC1 and DD1 even though we are going to connect it, it is going to be the invisible longer edge. Whereas this A1, D1 and C1 is going to be the invisible longer edge, I can retain it as a construction line as a thin line, so otherwise I can remove that portion also. Now this is what the required prism of the given dimension. Now one can see that the size is 50 millimeter and here also let me give these dimensions as 50, 50, 50 uh, to make this clear understanding. Now one can see that the prism has been constructed as per the requirement. And now I am going to show you how to construct this uh, square lamina into a pyramid now. Now make use of a line command with a continuous line and a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter. We know that the slant edges OA, OB, OC, OD has to be connected. Now I am going to join O to A and then O to B and then O to C. And O to D is going to be the invisible edge which is going to be overlapped on the visible line. So hence need not to be worry about it. However, the line AD and AC with respect to the visibility it is not going to be seen. So if we want we can retain it as a thin lines otherwise it can be deleted also. And then the finally I am going to show you how to construct the third lamina into a frustum of pyramid. So whereas in case of a frustum of pyramid we have to select the bottom base and then the bottom base has to be relocated at the top base with the dimensions of 20 millimeter. Now let me show you how to do the same. So make use of a move command and repeat the step similar to the prism that is from O1 relocate the face at the point of O and now uh, if you have any sort of doubts, so let me show you this dimensions as uh, 40 and 40. Now you can see in case of prisms, both will be 40, but here it is a frustum, it should be converted to a 20 millimeter. Now, how to convert this into a 20 millimeter? Let me show you. Now I am going to select this top base once again and then make use of a command called as a scale. Now the required dimension is 20, so I will enter the 20 in the numerator part and divide it by 40 in the denominator because the available size of the square should be in the denominator and the required size in the numerator and then say I will enter then it will calculate the scale factor then I am going to reposition it at the center O. Now one can see that the 30 mm sorry 40 mm square has been converted to a 20 mm square. So after which using the text command name the respective corners as A and this corner is going to be B, C as well as D. After which using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5, join the longer edge A, A1 and then, so not the longer edge, slant edge B, B1 and C, C1 and D, D1 even though we are going to connect it, it becomes invisible and then A1, B1 and A1, C1 is supposed to be shown as a thin lines if it is required, otherwise it can be deleted. Now, one can see that the isometric view or isometric drawing is completed because each and every lines we have drawn with respect to the true length. But the isometric projection says that these figures has to be converted to isometric projection with the respect to a ratio of 0 0.8164. Now, let me show you how to do the same. Now, let me select these things that is whatever the unwanted things I am just going to uncheck that one. And then uh, make use of a scale command and the scale factor should be a 0 0.8164 then it could be positioned anywhere on the screen like this. Now one can see that the each and every line is reduced to the ratio of 0 0.8164. Now one can say that the isometric projections of the prism, pyramid and the frustum of pyramid is completed as per the requirement. Now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve these problems. And you can feel free to communicate to me.
and my contact details are provided over here and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have liked this video please press the like button and also share this video to all the first year engineering students and if you are interested you can click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest uploads as and when it is going to be uploaded in the youtube thank you very much guys